Hi, Acadiana. I'm Katie Lopez. It's April the 30th, and here's your latest news update. Local leaders saying that they're listening when residents in historically black neighborhoods in Lafayette are asking for solutions when it comes to gentrification concerns. Tomorrow at the Domain Center from 9 until noon, there will be a public forum. Government resources, churches, and housing development organizations will be present to help. The search, at search efforts are continuing today for the men still missing in the Secor power disaster. Among those out searching this morning, Scott Daspit, the father of Dylan Daspit. He says that he's not giving up and is grateful for the support that they've received from all over the state. But Daspit is claiming that the Coast Guard tried picking up debris that his search team found from the Secor power. We did reach out to the Coast Guard for comment. They say that all of their search efforts stopped on April the 19th. Meanwhile, three cousins are also on a mission to help uh, search for this missing Sea Corps crew any way that they can by putting up a lemonade stand next Saturday. Now you can buy a drink at the M&H AC and Heating Company in St. Martinville. It starts at 1030. All proceeds will go to support the families and volunteers who took uh, continue to look for the missing men. Well, today is the last day to get those applications in for round one of the Lafayette Early Childhood Programs. Early Childhood Education Coordinator Emmy Thibodeau says it's important for kids to get that early jump on education, saying it prepares them socially and academically for when they get older. 90% of the brain develops before age three. So essentially, those first three years of life are critical in the foundation of a child's life, not only for school, but for life success. So those high quality experiences, regardless of where they are, is important for a child to be successful in life. And warm and muggy across the area this morning. Temperatures will find their way into the lower 80s this afternoon under mostly cloudy skies. A few scattered showers will be possible as a weak cold front pushes through the area, but not going to be a complete washout or anything like that. Clouds sticking around overnight tonight as temperatures will uh, bottom out in the upper 60s for our Saturday morning. A lot of cloud cover out there for our Saturday. Isolated rain chances sitting at around 30% as afternoon highs climb back into the lower to perhaps mid 80s in spots. Rain chances ramping up to around 80% heading into Sunday, especially for Sunday morning. Some of those storms could be on the strong to perhaps severe side. In fact, all of Acadiana is locked in for a slight risk, level 2 out of 5, to see severe weather. So make sure to stay weather aware throughout the weekend. And of course, we'll be keeping you updated all weekend long as well. Weather patterns staying relatively unsettled as we head into the first half of next week. Another storm system approaching as we go into Tuesday, perhaps extending into the first parts of Wednesday as well. But then much nicer weather conditions as we round out next week and head into the following weekend with afternoon highs returning to the 70s overnight lows in the upper 50s to lower 60s. Lower 80s this afternoon for our high temperatures and low temperatures tonight getting down into the upper 60s.